Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome to another segment of Utensilism. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite alcoholic beverages, uh, gin and tonic. Uh, remember to always drink responsibly. Today we're going to be using a Epson cocktail set. I got this on Amazon. It comes with uh, a cocktail shaker, strainer, swizzle stick, everything you could need. We're only going to use a couple of the items today. Also uh, experimented with a Tavolo and a Tincent uh, ice molds, silicone ice molds. Uh, I found that the individual ones were a little bit easier to manage. They came out maybe a little more spherical, um, but they were very big. Um, so we're going to be using two of these uh, smaller spheres in our drink today. Also going to be using Monkey 47, which is my favorite gin of all time. Uh, my wife and I went to uh, England and we discovered this gin. It's, it's a little pricey, but if you like gin, guarantee this, this might become your favorite gin if you tried it. So really simple to make. Uh, the internet will tell you you should do one part gin for three parts tonic, um, but you know, make it however you like it. I personally like a little bit less parts of gin, not, not you know, a huge drinker, so when I do more for the flavor, and I find that using the, the small end of the jigger, which I find to be a very uh, funny name for a utensil, is uh, more than enough gin for me. Uh, normally your jigger will have two sides, normally one will be a full ounce and, and the other side will be a half ounce, so we're going to use the half ounce size. So we poured our gin into the glass with our spherical ice, and you could use regular ice, but I find uh, sphere ice is a little bit more fun. And then we're going to top it off with our tonic. You can garnish uh, your gin and tonic a lot of different ways. Some people use peppercorns, juniper berries. Uh, personally, I like to use a lime. I like to squeeze some of the juice into my drink and throw one in there and then put one on the side of the glass. Uh, I also, for some reason, I found really like to use blackberries. Uh, they kind of absorb the gin and, and you get to eat them kind of after you're done with the drink uh, and they're delicious. So there you have it, gin and tonic. Very easy, just a few minor utensils that we had to use along the way. It's delicious. So check out our website utensilism.com, follow us on Twitter or TikTok. Subscribe to our YouTube page, uh, anywhere on social media, at Utensilism.